Okay, in this unit we're just going to look at uh, some of the tools you should have when working with PDFs. And uh, they are, uh, what are they? Resizing, rotating, copy text and images, uh, viewing tools that you'll need to work with them. Okay, And uh, PDFs are, stand for Portable Document Format. That means you don't have to own a Word, Excel, or whatever program created it. You can just share a PDF. And portable meant it could be sent to other users, and they didn't have to have the software. Truth is, they need some sort of PDF reader. We call that Acrobat Reader. There's others we're going to learn about. But finally, the uh, oh, the, the computer world, the users decided PDF was the one to go with. There were many other formats um, when they were trying to figure this out. So PDF1, and there's a piece of software made by Adobe called Adobe Acrobat. Adobe Acrobat Reader is a free program that lets you read PDFs. Um, Adobe Acrobat Writer lets you create them. And they used to have the rules very tight where they were the only creators. And now they let other programs as we'll explore create PDFs, but maybe not have all the features. So a PDF, when you open it, can have two different realities. Example, here's a online manual. And I'm going to go open that manual. I'm in my web browser. And here they've built in this PDF on the left is within the browser. So some of the features don't exist because you're not in Acrobat. You're in this little browser reader. So I don't have full control to read, maybe do different things. Looks like it's in there. Over here on the right, it uh, looks pretty similar. And uh, here I am in Acrobat. And that can also be controlled by your software. What did you tell your browser to do when it gets a PDF? Now, the truth of that is, what did somebody click on that they didn't read the box? Something came up, click. That's why your PDF looks different than his, two same computers, and people get confused. Okay? So, should Chrome open the PDF? Should Acrobat? Should, some other, should Word open them? And they quickly go and poof, they, they're not sure what they did. Another symptom of that, if you see a lot of toolbars in a browser, like multiple search, Bing, Ask, Google, they've been saying yes to every free software, and they load in all the defaults. So um, just to keep it simple, I'm going to go back onto the right-hand side here. And um, where was I? Oh, see, and then that uh, would we'll go back. I thought I had E360. Here we go. So one of the things I want to show you is uh, the ability to resize a PDF. Now, anytime you see something up in this bar, then there's a view menu. People can turn off sometimes different toolbars. And they may turn it off and not know they did it, so you want to kind of know, or what does it allow us to do? Under here, not as known, you know, I, I can zoom in here fit to width. I can, I've got some sort of annotation bar there. I'm going to ignore that for a moment. Now I'm going to show you this is worth knowing that a lot of people haven't seen is that I can rotate the view. That's because sometimes the way they produce a PDF, they wanted the paper sideways. That's how it read in the book. And so when they created the PDF, it ends up sideways. So knowing that there's a rotate, right? It's very hard too. Portable document. Well, what if the page is bigger than an eight and a half by eleven? So you may need that. Okay, might be a table that would be easier read that way. Um, so that's that's under the view menu where you can rotate things. You can zoom in. You can say, show me two pages, single page view. Um, tools. You know, it looks like I just did something there, and up came some tools. We won't look at that. I want to now show this part. Double arrow there. I just lost it. Out it comes. Here now I'm looking at all the thumbnails of every page. Here I'm looking at just a page. Here I've got the table of contents. Here I've got that. If I go here, bookmarks. You see, I can see what's inside this. 
Okay. So being able to do that in a PDF is helpful for finding it. Okay. Most companies, if they create a PDF, they might use blue text in it. And what it means is it's hyperlinked within this document. So if it said wiring instructions, you could click and go right to there. Okay. But just how easily, if you don't take time to explore these and you click on this, now you lost all your bookmarks. And that happens. People grab the mouse, they slide and click, and they don't know what they clicked on. Okay? So I want you to experiment here different areas. The other thing about a PDF, it usually is meant to be pretty stagnant. But they've added tools to annotate. And now we lost those tools. I can create a PDF. So if we go under View, we look, I want to add a comment. I want to add some annotations. Now I can go out here, add a note. I click, and I've just highlighted all those. If I want to add a little speech bubble, I can do it there. Which model should we buy? What that does is, when I close it, it leaves the little speech bubble there for you to see. And if you hover over it, it'll tell you who the user was on the computer. It grabbed my login in this case. I didn't tell Windows I'm Tim T. Walt. It just knows T. T. Walt. Um, but there you see, um, you can see my note. Okay? So if I save this and emailed it to you, you'd get that note. So we don't have to necessarily write on it and send back different versions or have the PDF and then you ask me questions in the email. Okay? Um, highlight text attach yet another file, record audio. So they've added quite a few features. Um, correct text, something like that. Drawing markup says, well, maybe I can take this, you see, and I can just scribble. Then I can say, we don't need this, or something. Right? OK. What I like to do in Windows, go to Windows, go About, Go in the help file and look at about. Um, oh, nope. Windows about, about this one. Sorry, I didn't click on about. That's why it didn't come up. When you go help and go about in the Windows operating system, you're seeing the exact version of what you're using. Your user might have version 5, version 8, version 10, and they may not have the same tools. It'll probably be able to read the file. They just won't be able to respond to them. Okay? So whenever you see you can't do something, go to the help file, look at about, and you'll get the exact version. As you can see in here, I'm running version 11.000. Okay? Let's go on back here to E360 for a moment. Rotating PDFs, resizing. Um, PDFs can be a very secure document. So I'm just going to go to here. We may or may not be able to copy this um, image. Here I've got uh, sign, do something like this. I'm going to take a look at tools. I'm going to see if I have one for copy file to clipboard, take a snapshot. Snapshot will let me take a picture of this and that area has been copied okay where does it copy it to it's copied it to our clipboard that it's called it's in Windows memory and if I go into a program that can accept it I go paste so you can bring that into a PowerPoint something like that what you're copying is an image you probably won't be able to go in here now. See, I can't edit the word minimum. I, I just have a picture of it. Okay. If I go back to the PDF, 
and I go here and I say, you know, this looks pretty important. See that area? I just copied. Do you see how it let me be on parts of letters? It didn't copy text. So I got to go up here and say, hmm, I wonder if I can copy, take a snapshot. Now I look for a tool, sign, comment, show the navigation panes, show the toolbar items. This is where we can. Uh, I'm going to put up copy. It just showed up in my toolbar. And now can I do that? Depending on how they made the spread, the uh, PDF file. See, I, I can't edit that text either. The owner of the PDF can put a password on it, can decide whether it could be printed. They can decide whether it can be copied at all. So you'd have to use another tool that you've looked at. Okay, But here, this document must not allow me to copy text, but I can copy images. Okay, so you get the text as is. You can't you can't modify it. Okay. PDFs are are you know just a really mainstay, and so I want you to explore the tools. I've got this file that I was looking at right here, so you have a PDF to look at. Then this is a piece of software that lets you create PDFs. While Microsoft Office has expanded to be able to write PDFs, a lot of other software hasn't. And so you can now add it to any piece of software. Maybe your PLC program doesn't print to PDF. It only prints to a printer. This installs it as a printer. And then finally, what you need to do is install it and create a PDF and um, just send it to me in the Dropbox. So you just kind of make a, a Word document and go ahead and, and do that. Okay. Questions on the PDF? Okay. Basically, uh, to summary, just uh, then experiment with the menus. Turn them off, turn them on, figure out how to get them back. You, you know, a user just, just want to say, well, I, can't, I don't have a thumbnail. I don't have the little table of contents. You have it, you just don't know you hit it. Okay? So just explore that. Okie doke.